Have you reduced your sugar intake or have been told that you need to reduce your sugar intake? Well, this is the video for you because what I'm going to be talking about is alternative sugars, how good or how bad they may be for your health. And at the end, I'm going to talk about five natural alternatives that will not mess with your health. Let's get into it. It's Mondays with Mahela. That's right. That's me. Thank you so much for tuning in. I love and appreciate your support. Today, we're going to be talking about sugar. We all love sugar. We love eating it. We love seeing it. We just love sugar. It makes our brain just go fuzzy and happy. You would agree, wouldn't you? Well, what's been happening is sugar has been demonized a lot by society where we are saying that that sugar is causing diabetes, heart, heart disease, cardiovascular disease, all these issues, even Alzheimer's disease, dementia. But now, and then everyone is saying, or your doctors or your practitioners are saying, reduce your sugar, which is an interesting aspect, which you can do. You can reduce your sugar. But then what happens is, because we've been told to reduce our sugar, the, the food companies come out with something called artificial sugar. You have may have seen artificial sugar in your products or are actually using it right now. Artificial sugar can be found in yogurt, diet drinks, lollies, even protein bars can be found literally in anything because it's labeled as sugar free because it actually is sugar free. But what they put instead in there is artificial sweetness, which I'm going to go and talk about what it does to the brain after, which is so interesting. So now the question is, is artificial sugar better for me than actual sugar? That is a very, very good question. So let's get into it. So the average Aussie has 60 grams of sugar every day, which is about 12 teaspoons. Now think about it. 12 teaspoons of sugar every single day. In coffee, you may put one or two. That's like having six of those coffees and putting just sugar in it. But the interesting about this study was that most of this sugar was actually hidden. What, what do I mean by hidden? Well, the food companies love to play hide and seek with us. Woohoo, there is the sugar, it's hiding. We don't have sugar, yes we do. Crazy, absolutely crazy. And this is where most of us consumers, we get taken away. We get taken away to a world that we believe that we're not having sugar, but we really are. So they're playing hide and seek with us. And what I actually mean by that is, is they hide the name of the sugar on the product. So we may get a product and we look at it and we go, okay, it's got this ingredient, beautiful, awesome. And then what actually happens is, they put this name, this word that we have never even heard of. Do you want to know what they are? I've written a list here and I'm going to go through some of them. So get a pen and paper and write them down. Corn sugar, lucto malt, glucose syrup, fructose corn syrup. We all know about this one. Caro, glucose, dextrose, fructose, lactose, maltose, sucrose, golden syrup golden sugar, dextrin, malted dextrin. You need to look at your food. You need to look at what you're eating. So that if you take anything away from this video, I want you to look at your ingredients on your food. Look at them. I mean, go grab one right now. Pause this video. Go grab one of your products and look at the ingredients. Okay, now that you're back, look at the ingredients. What, what are the ingredients on there? The things that I mentioned, are any of them mentioned in there? because you may be eating hidden sugars that you have absolutely no idea about, that you think you're having a sugar-free diet, but you're really not. These are the hidden sugars that these companies hide from us. A new study by the George Institute of Global Health has relieved around 70% of packaged foods contained added sugar. That's, it's, that's huge. 70% of our food contains hidden sugars. 
So the 30% you know about, but the 70% you don't. So look at your cupboard. Is 70% of your food in the cupboard hidden sugars? You know, you may not be putting that sugar in your coffee. Congratulations, that's amazing. But it may be hidden from you, okay? So that's one part of it, is that they hide the sugar from us. The other aspect is that now we're using artificial sweeteners, which I'm going to go into now. And these, this is the thing that frustrates me the most, is that these products are sugar-free. These products are supposed to be healthy for us. They have a healthier rating. They make us believe that it is healthier. And these are the things that we go and grab because we think we're doing the right thing. But actually, what are these artificial sweeteners doing to us? So, what in, so like I said, there may be in diet drinks, jelly, chewing gum even, ginger beer, protein meals, protein shakes, protein everything that you can think of, cordial, yogurt, lollies, chocolate, soft drink, anything that's supposed to have sugar in it, now is sugar free. I can see the desire to go down the route of artificial sweetness. So don't worry, I'm on your track because it's sugar free with no calories and I'm getting the buzz of sugar. Why not? I would so jump on that bandwagon. So don't think that you're the only one. I would too, and I have in the past. But here I am to educate you and inspire you to make a change and have a look at what this is hidden with. So what I've done is some research, and I'm going to go into the most common artificial sweeteners used in Australia. Are you ready for them? You might want to get that pen and paper again. Pause this video, get the pen and paper, write it down. Even if you don't get the whole name, write down the numbers. You ready? Here we go. I probably won't be able to pronounce them. Ace sulfame potassium, which is number 950. Aspartame, which is number 951. Silamate, which is number 952. Saturin, which is number 954. Surulose, which is number 955. Neotame, which is number 961. I just felt like I was doing bingo. Have any of you guys won? Are your products containing these artificial colors? I mean, artificial sweeteners. Are your products containing these artificial sweeteners? Look at your products. Okay, so there are so many, there are so many studies for and against artificial sweeteners, saying that they're healthy, saying that they're non-healthy. I'm not going to go down that route today. I'm not going to go into the debate of are they good, are they bad for us. But what I want to go down to is I want to read something out to you and then you can make your decision, okay? Because when we are confused, we do nothing. That's why these studies are out there saying good and bad and good and bad. Um, so I'm not going to go down that route. So I'm going to read out something for you, which was written by which um, Associate Professor Greg Neely from the University of Sydney on an author 2016 study found that suraclose, which is one of those artificial sweeteners that I said, significantly increased fruit flies calorie intake from other sources so what he's saying here is that these fruit flies would only eat this many calories but now that these artificial sweeteners are involved they ate significantly increased amount of calories is that what these artificial sweeteners are doing to you so they have found that inside the brain's reward center sweet sensation is integrated with energy content Okay, when sweetness versus energy is out of balance for a period of time, brain increases the total calorie consumption. So when this is out of whack, which is what happening, which is what happening for artificial sweetness, our calorie consumption goes up. So this is why if you're trying to reduce your sugar intake, this is why you may not be losing the weight that you want to lose because you may actually be gaining the weight. Okay, that is so interesting. Not only that, Studies show consuming synthetic sweetener generates excessive cravings from the sweet tastes, leading to weight gain and other negative effects linked to excessive sugar consumption. So these are two studies here now saying that if you're going to have artificial sweeteners, you're more likely to increase your calorie intake, not reduce it, because it messes with your brain reward center. It messes with your neurotransmitters. So while sugar replacements reduce calories, Okay, so these sugar replacements may reduce your calories. They don't actually address your issue for your preference of sweet, sweet foods. So they may reduce your so-called calories, which in those studies says doesn't. But anyway, you may think you're reducing your calories, but actually what's happening is you're not addressing the root cause of why you're craving sugar. So I promised you, I promised that I'm going to go through five 
natural sweeteners that just do the same thing and they may not mess with your reward system and your neurotransmitter as those artificial sweeteners do. Are you ready for it? I've got five. Number one is dates. Dates are so amazing. They're so beautiful. They're filled with potassium. They're filled with iron, magnesium, and B6s. So these are all vital, vital nutrients for us. Number two is honey. Honey has been used for centuries to sweeten our food. So, And honey is very high in iron, zinc, potassium, vitamin B6, and so forth. So we can see that these natural sweeteners are filled with nutrients that our body needs. Number three is maple syrup, which is similar to honey, but you may be using maple syrup for other reasons. It's filled with magnesium, calcium, potassium, and zinc. Number four is blackstrap molase, which is filled with copper, zinc, calcium, iron, potassium, vitamin B, zinc, B6. Amazing for us. And number five is fruit jam. Make your own fruit jam. Get those blueberries, get those raspberries, get those strawberries, put a bit of water, over the stove and make your own little fruit jam. So those are five foods, natural sweetness that will do exactly the same as sugar, but are so much more healthier for you because these have vital minerals and nutrients for your health. Okay. So my question to you is, for taking artificial sweetness, are you tricking your brain? Is that healthy or is it not? Is it healthy to trick your brain and your reward system using synthetic sweeteners when you could be using those natural ones that I mentioned? So let me know, comment below, let me know, are you using sugar-free products? And if so, which one are you swapping it with? Which one of those five are you going to swap it with? Let me know. Subscribe, like, share this with an individual that you know that loves their sugar and that needs this. Thank you so much for your support. Till next Monday, love you.